More and more, we're dealing with hazy skies and air quality concerns across our area. Now, a Harlem based nonprofit is monitoring one of the city's hotspots. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell covers Harlem and shows us how the organization is stepping in to fill a gap. Outside an old building at Amsterdam and 152nd, new tech is hard at work, sharing real time readings of the haze billowing above. We're breathing in this toxic irritant. And it's like getting a sunburn on your lungs is the way that the EPA describes it. It's like a chemical irritation inside your lungs, and that's why it's really harmful to people's health. Dr. Mikaela Martinez oversees the pilot program underway at the West Harlem Environmental Action Group, better known as We Act for Environmental Justice. They've installed the only air quality monitor between City College and the George Washington Bridge, plus an indoor counterpart, checking levels of particles from Canadian wildfires as well as changes to the ozone. We could see, for example, in the evening when we'd have trucks going by to do their deliveries. There's a huge spike at night. They hope the data they're collecting can be connected to the neighborhood's higher rates of respiratory illness, especially ahead of the implementation of congestion pricing. We can see if that burden is indeed being shifted uptown and if it m matches the models that the state and everyone has put together. The State Department of Environmental Conservation supplements its own monitors with these Aclima cars that drive throughout the boroughs 24 hours a day. We can have a, a very Accurate uh, information and data because we constantly pass for the street. Technicians came to WEAC to show students in the summer program how their cars capture air quality measurements for monitoring. A lot of different aspects of our life are impacting our health, and I think that's something that should be that knowledge should be available to all people and communities, and we should be able to um, have the resources to address them. WEAC recommends neighbors sensitive to changes in air quality create a safe space at home where an air filter can flow and windows and vents stay closed. In Sugar Hill, Jesse Mitchell, CBS 2 News. We act, suggest checking the air quality as often as you check the weather and then plan accordingly. Jesse is our community reporter covering Harlem. If you have a story that you'd like to share, email harlemtip at cbs.com.